Lions TV, full time via I follow. It finishes at the den. Millwall one, Middlesbrough nil. I'll be honest, I've usually start the day in a good mood, and the team and the club and whatever else ends up by the end of the day. We say it so many times, ruins our day. Ruin, the football's ruined my day. I was in a good mood. Today I was in a foul mood, and a team has got me smiling. That was a very, very good performance, in my opinion. I am very excited, and I'm going to cover a few things in this. First and foremost, we can't attack for 90 minutes. We was well-deserving of our lead in the first half. And I don't think it's any coincidence that we look more exciting. We're putting towards uh, better patterns of play and different ideas. We're, we're breaking lines now. I've said a million times, we've got to put these balls in between centre-offs and wing-backs. We've got to put these balls in between centre-half and centre-half and get people turning towards their own goal. Instead of going sideways, 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 backwards, back, back, back to bar. We attacked with pace. We attacked with intent and ideas. And we look like we've been practicing other stuff. The front two, by the way, and, I, and I'm, again, not happy that Bennett was removed. Although, I've got to be honest, what Bavarsen did well when he came on. Um, and I'm, I'm glad. He won't be glad. But I'm glad to see, in a bit of a sick way, that Bennett's getting a fucking hump every time he's been removed. Because he's now scored three goals in six games. And I thought him and I thought Jed, who I always give criticism to, and maybe unfairly, but... I demand the best from our best. And that's why I'm always on Jed's bollocks. I think him and Bennett have been sensational lately. Very, very good. No recognised striker has almost, well, neither of those being a recognised striker really, has almost opened up a new way of playing for us. We was brilliant at QPR in the first half. And today we learned from our mistakes. We put together brilliant patterns of play. And as I said earlier on, it's no coincidence to me that these patterns of play have arisen through playing the right type of players in Billy Mitchell, who, by the way... And already arrived in my eyes, but hadn't really, because I know he knows he's got more, and he knows he's got more. He could have played another 90 minutes today. He was man of the match by an absolute fucking mile. He was sensational today. And we had chances before he set out the goal. Brilliant play from Malone. Links in Jed quickly, moves the ball quickly. On from Mason Bennett, another brilliant through ball. Breaking lines in between players, turning towards their own goal. I'm so excited, I could talk fucking all night. But what I'll get to is this. Jed was unlucky to not score with that one. But not long after, we get the breakthrough. Billy Mitchell chases down. And he was left, he was right, he was central, he was forward. He was back. He could have played another night there. He was absolutely sensational. This is coming from a 19-year-old, by the way, who hasn't ever really played first-team football. And as an what I would call a Jason Malumbi type run in the team. I'm telling you now, you will never be calling for Jason Malumbi at this club again once Billy gets a fair run of games. He's just come back from injury and he, he is mature beyond his years. He was man of the match by a mile, in my opinion. Not just mine, loads of people on the live stream, along with Jen, who was brilliant, along with Bennett, who was brilliant, so he got removed and did run out of steam. Hutchinson must have headed the ball 350 times. I'll get to our goal in a minute. It's a great tackle from Billy Mitchell. Not only does he win the ball in a position he has no right to be winning in a tackle, he has no right to win. He turns, he moves the ball quickly, which is what we have been doing the last couple of games. Jed's on the hop, bombs down the wing, roasts his man, cuts back. It's, it's an absolute carbon copy, identical goal to the one we got away at Cardiff. Uh, and Bennett was there at the back post. He probably would have tapped it in. But Jed does the right thing. And we go 1-0 up and we're more than worthy of our lead at half time. Second half, yes, listen, Middlesbrough came at us. There, well, before today, they were seven points clear of us, I think. Six off the playoffs. Reading haven't won today, so I'm not going to say it just yet. But if we carry on playing like that. But let's get back to Middlesbrough. They had every chance of the playoffs. Of course, they're going to have a Walnut bollocking at half time. He would raise his eyebrows if he had any, but he hasn't. So, I just use that joke in the live stream as well. <laughs> so, he he's going to get into his team. They're going to come at us. And they did come at us. But we defended very well. You can't go at teams for 90 minutes. You just can't. And we learn from where we went wrong on Wednesday. We defended Bart, rarely troubled, two shots, both pretty much straight at him. And Middlesbrough looked, looked lively coming forward. Good players on their side. George Savile coming off the bench. Mendes Lang, troubled, but again, talented player in this division. Scores and has called problems before for various things, including Cardiff. So I think that we defended very well. You can't attack for 90 minutes. I was disappointed for Bennett when he came off, but I did feel Bavarsen give us something a little bit different. Trying to, And that's why he's put him on, to, 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 to hold the ball up to back into players, to drag our team up the pitch. But listen, I couldn't fault any player there, though. I thought we they all played really well, all of them. Danny McNamara could have scored a little bit. King got booked, had to be replaced by Marlon Romeo. But even Romeo, when he came on, Sean Williams, when he came on, I thought they all did well. I thought Woods had a good game. George Evans, although a little bit keen at the time of his aggression, which I'll never knock, you know, kept battling to the end. 
And I thought we did very well. But Vance almost scores from a, from a Scott Malone ball. And we're getting back to full fitness. Mahoney was on the bench. Didn't come on today. Could we hit form right at the right time and look, make me look like the biggest clown ever by saying, row it out and we make the playoffs? I think it's a little bit of a stretch. But I've got to be honest, I would today... Not on their performance, but going forward, if Woods isn't going to be here next year, I would say put Evans back in the back three, take Murray Wallace out, and put Keith Beld and Leonard in the midfield with Billy Mitchell. And I think that, that that's a team that could do things. If we can keep this newfound ideas and confidence coming forward and learn from our mistakes, like we did it to lay at the back, very good clean sheet. As I said, I start. I usually start the day a very happy man and finish a miserable bastard. Today's the complete opposite. Hats off to every single player. Hats off to the manager. And if you do well, do the right things, show endeavour and give everything from your shirt, I won't talk bollocks. I say what I see. And today I've seen a brilliant performance. Team, tactics, attacking, defensive. The whole package for me. It's 1 0 against Middlesbrough. Yes, they ain't fucking Barcelona, but you can only beat what's put in front of you. And I'll finish the day a very, very happy man. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.